Hey guys, today we're going to continue with the 100 terabyte 10 gigabit server. Um, I laid out all the hardware I'm going to use in the previous video. Go check that out. And I also did some videos about the case I'm using. If you're interested, go check those out. Uh, they'll also be in the description. Um, but today we're going to be putting the first hardware in. Now that it will be limited to four times 10 terabyte, which will go into a single pool, but it won't be putting them in a mirror yet. The old server still has two times 10 terabyte, which I need for the eight in total, and one of the LSI cards I want to use. So first I'm going to move over the data from the old server and then move the LSI card and the next batch of four times 10 terabyte and actually create a mirror from that current pool. Now I do need to watch out with that because if I make a mistake, all data will be lost. Uh, but I do make daily backups to an offsite location where I have another 50 terabytes for basically backup usage. So even if that happens, it won't be the end of the world, but I'd better just do it right the first time. I'm going to try and take you along on the journey. So n after this build video, I'll do a Proxmox install with a camera and tell you about all the options and things you can select. And then we'll create the pool together and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, um, a like is always appreciated, affiliate links if you want to support the channel, and subscribe if you want to keep following this content. Okay, I'll be doing a time-lapse build, and I'll put some nice music behind it, and probably if I encounter some problem or I want to give some extra explanation at some point, I'll, uh, well, interrupt the time-lapse, do a little bit of a thing, and then move on. I'll try and do time codes in the description again, so you can jump between them if you want to skip the time-lapse. And uh, I'll see you at the other end. Internally, those have five backplane PCBs where you can connect one SFF 8087 cable. Now, while cabling this, I use uh, two Molex cables for my power supply. For the first reason is, well, it only has four connectors and I need five. But the other reason is, uh, because I'm running a mirror, this gives some redundancy uh, advantages later on. Now, I'll talk more about that in, an other, in another video. But right now, the bottom, the one above that, and the top are connected through one cable. And then the uh, third and fourth are connected to the other cable. And I'll be spreading my mirror discs over those drive bays, partially to spread the heat, but also to, in the event there's a power failure, and one of the rows or one of the cables actually would fail or come loose or whatever would happen, Basically, because I'm running a mirror, the whole system, or at least that pool, would still keep functioning. But more about that in later videos.
Okay, build has been completed, and as you could see, it all went together pretty nicely. I don't have any bleeding body parts, so that speaks to the chassis. Let's see if I can show you everything a little bit. I don't know if the time lapse came out really well. Uh, I'll only know that while editing, so that's why I'm doing a little extra shoot. Here you can see the eight motherboard ports I'm using. Four go to the uh, SSD hot swap base and four go to, to the top lane using the reverse SAS cable. This is the one LSI controller that's in there right now. And that should have ample airflow, I hope, but we'll see. Here's the 960 Pro for the L2 Arc cache. And then down here, although uh, re in regards to PCI slots this will work, I think. We'll have to see if it posts. Uh, the, these are two heat generating cards close together and especially uh, this bottom one well it doesn't have that much room to breathe and it would also be hard to add a fan so I might need to re-evaluate this in the future but I'll see if it works first then moving over I uh, got the spare cables in there too for uh, the second SAS card once that's ready and if we look in this compartment, let me add a little uh, little bit of light there. You can see that all the SAS cables are coming in. So the way it's divided is the bottom two are for the first LSI HBA card. Then the second two are for uh, the second card I'm going to add. And then the top one is connected to my motherboard. And what I'm going to do, as I explained uh, when I uh, showed you the power rails, is basically split up the mirror. So you have a mirror uh, of four VDEFs, which are a mirror. So I can put like four disks in the bottom row and then four disks in the third uh, hot swap bay row. And then even if a whole row would fail, I'd still have connection to enough disks so that the pool wouldn't go offline. Uh, that's what they do in the enterprise. It's a bit overkill for at home, but that's not the real reason I'm running RAID 10. 
uh, but I'll explain that in a different video as I mentioned. Um, yeah, it, uh, oh, this is a bit too dark. Let me get a light. There we go. It all went together uh, pretty nicely. And uh, let's, uh, let's see if it posts and how much noise it makes. It's a pretty roomy chassis. Of course, if you use an E80X board or something like that, it'll uh, it'll take up some more room. But even then, okay, let's post it, or let's boot it, I guess. Okay, moment of truth, I guess. Let's boot it for the first time and see if it posts. If it does, I'm going to keep the video at that and uh, play with it a little bit, and uh, we'll also get a first impression of how much noise it makes. I mounted a shotgun microphone on top of my camera and, well, hopefully me talking gives you a good impression of how loud I am and then how loud the server will be. Okay, let's uh, push the button. Okay. Oh, it's making more noise now. There are 120 millimeter fans in here, so they are pretty big, so don't have to make that much noise, but let's see what the screen says. If the screen will say anything. Oh, that was a logo. Nice. Okay, it's found the LSI controller. I don't have to keep pressing Dell, but it's kind of a twitch of mine. Oh, I hear some discs spinning up. Interesting. Noise isn't too bad actually. Much too loud for in this room or if I want to record anything, but not too bad. Oh, BIOS, come on. And we have a post. That is awesome. Let me try and turn this a little bit and then move here and do that. So um, I'm going to cut off the video here or end it here. Uh, next video will be Proxmox installation on a ZFS mirror and probably creation of a pool and adding some caching stuff and things like that. And then maybe in that video or in the video after that I'm going to uh, take you along while I migrate all of my data and do some basic setup stuff. But I still need to think about those videos. Let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, yep, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.